Hello there, my name is Mike Graham of Integral Marketing and this is Affiliate Tips Educating Beginners and Intermediates in Affiliate Marketing. And on the last video I was talking to you about modelling success which is an integral part of becoming successful online because there are so many people out there who are doing this business successfully and rarely making a difference to other people's lives that the exemplars are many. Now I know you're not going to be completely like somebody and you don't actually want to get caught in the trap of trying to be somebody's shadow because that's as ludicrous as trying to reinvent the wheel really. But just doing some of the things that other people do, some of the, their habits, particularly mental habits actually, um, and adopting some of the attitudes and mindsets of successful entrepreneurs. Um, entrepreneurs always, when they're successful, they're playing the long game. They're not trying to win it overnight. There's a sort of uh, a feeling that they'll still be in the game sort of many months hence. And therefore, not they're not fretting over something that happens immediately because they have a longer, a longer plan. Um, and what happens, you know, day to day to day isn't quite so relevant as it would be if you're sort of trying to make it happen now. That said, of course, you don't want to slacken off in any way. But having a a big vision as well, I think, helps in as much as. It is quite tough being an online entrepreneur. You know, there are long hours spent in your own company, not getting out and about, not being with other people, discussing things. And a lot of people, you know, that you talk to about doing this probably think that you're quite mad because it's a very much of a solo operation until you find a, a joint venture partner to go along with. And even then, it's still a fairly solo occupation. And the people you're most likely to be bouncing ideas off are your teachers on the computer. Um, you know, when you're either talking to them personally or putting questions into the question and answer box on a webinar. Um, and they're the people who will understand what you're talking about, um, not the people you go and meet in your everyday life. Um, so your concerns are likely to be quite different. But I think having a strong mind, having a strong purpose, and actually seeing that your mind always needs stimulating in some way, that because it's a human tendency to be negative about a lot of things in life and to have this constant chatter going on in the mind, you actually have to become more con in charge of what your mind does and how it is with you. Um, and one of the steps I think that you have to take is learning how to control your mind, either through meditating or like a technique where you just stop all the thoughts going through your mind for a while and you just turn your mind off. And or other ones where you're visualizing positive things or you, you can repeat affirmations, you know, you can have a positive attitude or desire which you put into words and you write it out a hundred times three times a day or something and all those sort of things they they rub off in the way that your mind works um, but it's always the long game you're playing you can't you can't work these things out overnight and the mind being what it is is a fairly sneaky operator and it's always going to try and catch you out and it'll play games with you from time to time um, but harnessing it, and once it feels that you know it, it is being harnessed, I think it works better for you. And basically, you have to keep a positive outlook. You know, it's not obviously being blind to your own faults and deficiencies. Far from it, but it's not being too downcast the whole time, because success doesn't come easily. And not looking for it to come easily because as I say you are always playing the long game um, the work you put in today doesn't really yield results until 
much further down the line. So it's always about future gratification rather than present gratification. And, you know, it's, it's a certain mindset. You have to be willing to learn an awful lot and be educated. Take action. Put yourself into places where you feel uncomfortable. And some entrepreneurs say, actually, they only make breakthroughs at the points that they do put themselves out there and feel uncomfortable or do go that extra yard. Um, there's no point in, in just thinking that you can do it by lounging around by a swimming pool and everything will happen overnight. On the other hand, being a slave, being driven ever onwards without respite isn't a good idea either. And you do have to look after your body as well as your mind, because your mind obviously operates within your body. And, and as such, it stays true to you if you look after the body as well. So, you know, putting the right fuel into the body and getting enough sleep are important. Um, pieces about life um, but more than that other successful habits are that um, successful entrepreneurs always know that they're going to succeed I think they're not worried about failure they're not because they just know that they will they don't know when they will but they always know that they will and they have a certainty about them a confidence and obviously that'll sort of come through in the way that you are just when you realize actually that you're in charge of the subject and you can do all the work and you know what to do because whilst you're not always going to get success um, using the times that you're not successful wisely and learning from those times is as valuable a thing as actually being successful and one has to keep on telling oneself these things so intrinsically you have to actually even enjoy what you're doing and I think that's probably the bottom line is doing doing it because you get some sort of pleasure out of doing it because there's no point in being trying to be an entrepreneur if you don't enjoy anything about it because the chances are then you just feel like getting the riches which whilst they're nice and very valuable and give you a lot of energy, it's not always the bottom line of why you're doing it. Um, it's also important to feel that you're bringing good things to other people, that you're serving them, and that in some way you can enhance some people's experience on this planet. Like obviously giving people the keys to how they can have a better retirement or they can make more money so that they can put their kids through better education and stuff like that. And it's not just about serving yourself but also serving other people. Anyway, that's really the sum total of what I wanted to say today. Um, there's plenty more I could say about the mind and its importance. But... Any techniques that you can come up with that make your mind stronger and give you more control over the way it works has to be a good thing. So, you know, whatever works for you, just go with it. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, then give me a like or even give me a subscribe. And if you would like a free gift, there's a free gift advertised at the bottom here. Thank you very much for listening and I'll see you on the next one.